Hey guys, morning. Brian from uh, Snowwalker Bushcraft. And today uh, I want to shoot a quick video on my EDC kit or my everyday carry kit. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there that show making an EDC kit, keychain kit, whatever you really want to call it. Um, I'm just going to throw mine into the ring. and It's offered up to you as a suggestion. I'm not saying that you need to, to buy any of these items uh, or these exact items. It's uh, this is what works for me. The only thing that I encourage you to do is to make your own kit um, and make it so that it works for you. Um, what necessarily works for me may not work for you, and vice versa. Um, you know, it's nice to have suggestions. It's nice to have tools in the toolbox. Um, that being said, uh, let me jump right into it. Um, what I did is I got a climbing grade carabiner. It's a locking beaner. What I mean by locking is that on the gate, there's a locking nut. Close it up. It's not going to come loose. It's not going to open up on you. You're not going to lose any of your items. It's not going to slip off your belt. But if you put this on right, it's not going to slip off either. Okay. Uh, I chose a bright colored one for a very simple reason. I want to be able to find it. If I take this off my belt and I lay it down, I want to be able to find it. A lot of these things are dark colored. Put them on the ground. You might you might step over it a couple of times before you find it. So that's the reason why I went with a bright colored one. First thing that I have is a signaling device. So I carry a Fox 40 whistle. A um, couple reasons why. It's no moving parts in it, so I don't have to worry about anything screwing up on it. It's made of plastic, so it's not going to corrode. And... Um, one of the other reasons being that it's plastic, it's not going to freeze to your lips in the winter time. That's why I chose that whistle. I have a little LED flashlight. This one's made by Innovo. I like this one for one particular reason. It's a self-contained unit. The light itself, the bulb, is recessed into the plastic. A little bit less chance of breakage. Murphy's Law states that if you're out doing something and you want it to work it's not going to work well I try to just alleviate the fact that you know I reduce it by having the light bulb inside it it's got three settings on it it's got a constant on it has a constant on that's dimmer and then it has a signal mode or a flashing mode okay that's the reason why I chose this light it's cheap, it's inexpensive, runs on a watch battery. Um, it'll last for a long time, guys. Okay. Military P38 can opener. And just as the name implies, it's a can opener. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, if you're out in the woods, or wherever you may be, you're going to find garbage. Where there's man, there's garbage. Um, if you happen to lose your cup, damage your cup, or something, you find a can, take the top off the rest of the way if it's viable, and uh, then you have a makeshift uh, vessel, container. Uh, it's also good as a secondary striker on my ferro rod. I have a compass. It's just a key fob compass. This one happens to be made by Silva. Okay, It's for general direction. No, nothing more. You're not going to do heavy orienteering with it. But at least it gives me a way to figure out direction uh, in case one of my other compasses uh, is broken or is lost. I have a hank of paracord. There's probably about 10, 12 feet on there. Um, that's what I carry. I, You know, I'm not going to go into the whole list of you know, uses for paracord. We know they're good for lashings. We take the guts out of them. We use them for, uh, you know, our trigger sticks on Paiute deadfalls. You can use them as sewing thread and, and whatnot, etc., etc. Uh, that's wrapped by about six feet of duct tape. Again, a lot of uses for duct tape. You can fix the seams in your clothes, tarps, uh, rips, you know, um, you can make uh, you can make a cup out of it. You know you can just wind it around and make a little vessel out of it. Uh, you can use it for cordage. You can use it for fletching on arrows, so on and so forth. That's why I carry that on there. 
Uh, one of the primary reasons, actually, that I do really use it on there for is for my band-aids, really. So, um, carry a little lock blade. This is a Gerber LST. It's nice, it's light, holds an edge, does its job. You can do little camp chores with it if you don't feel like busting out your big knife. Um, but again, it's redundancy. I carry two knives in the woods as it is. This is just in case something happens to one of them. I have a backup. I have ferro rod. No nonsense ferro rod. This is four inches by three eighths. A lot of sparks. I'm going to have it for a long time. It's going to make a lot of fires. You know, um, I want something that's as good, if you know, not better than my primary. I'm not going to mess around. This is it. This is what I carry. Okay, last but not least, is I have this tinder tube. And I would break into this tinder tube if all my other resources were gone. Okay, especially if I need something immediately. Um, some people like wet fire, some people don't like wet fire. I happen to be one of the ones that do like it. Um, it's small enough, it's compact enough where I can stick it in here. I get two of them in here. So I'll have immediate fire at any time. Okay. But in accordance that, you know, with everything is like I like to have options. So I also have Tinder Quick. Works on the same principle as your Vaseline and cotton balls. Um, it's a little cottony substance. I don't know exactly what they use. It has uh, like a, a waxy chemical on it. It's non toxic as far as I know. And you break it open, hit it with a ferro rod, and you're good to go. I also have two feet of jute twine. And behind that, actually, I have some fat wood that I use for little shavings as well. Okay, it's all about options. Again, what works for me may not work for you. These are just suggestions here. What's nice about this big tinder tube, okay, has an O-ring, it floats, uh, keeps your stuff dry. Again, I'm going to use that in an emergency. Okay, and last but not least, I actually added this a couple days ago. Um, this is, some people are on medication, you know, daily medication, and uh, I didn't think about it, and then I said I actually should have something on there. So I got another anodized aluminum spy capsule, pill fob, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, it has an O-ring in there. I just put the duct tape to, you know, make sure that it doesn't come off. And um, there's two days worth of medications in here. Biggest thing about your meds is you have to cycle them out, and you have to make sure that you have fresh ones in there. So at the end of my prescription, when I go to refill uh, them, I would uh, use these up, put new ones in, and then that way I have it. Okay. That's my kit right here, guys. Is it a little bit bulky? Yeah, kind of. It works for me, though. And uh, that's what I want to bring out. Um, whatever works for you, that's what you need to do. Okay. If you get a nice idea from this and you use it, great. If you don't, great. Um, right now I want to give out a shout out to two companies that I buy from. Um, really good people all the way around. Um, John and Denise McCann at Survival Resources. Uh, excellent people to deal with. They have a large stock. They have a lot of choices. Um, fast, courteous service. Can't say enough about them. Uh, another place that I get stuff from is Rob at the Canteen Shop. Again, guy's great. He's got a lot of good things. Um, fast, courteous service. Both companies are really good. They're here in the United States. I like dealing with people in the United States a lot. Um, that being said, at the end of this video, I'll put their uh, websites up and their phone numbers, contact numbers. So there it is. Nothing great, nothing major. I thank you for your views. I thank you for your comments. And until the next one, take it easy.